cash on the line with this one, so you got to win to get in. Yeah, you often forget about that. This is the game to get to the finals, but this is also a game to lock you into the ultimate league if you can get the win. The top two players, if you make it to the championship, you make it to the ultimate league at the end of the year, you have a chance to maybe win the Madden Bowl. And for those folks watching, that is why you should follow the channels that you're on right now, because the ultimate league is going to be a 16-man league. You do not want to miss. Oh. And McCoy is off to the races. One man to beat. Shady, not like this. Touchdown, Drini. Scotty told me before the game, Prodigy, that he had the front seven to stop Drini. I believed it. And 11 seconds into the game, I'm looking silly. Front seven, back four, nobody. Take a look at it again, Zach. Gone. Well, I like that motion. Brown gets the block, and then he just completely outruns the entire defense. To me, LaShawn McCoy is the best halfback available in Mutt Draft. He's one of the top three backs available in all of Ultimate Team. Some good Team of the Week items, some good power-up versions of Shady McCoy. That agility that you get with him, that top-end speed, somebody you want to add to your roster with the way elusive backs play in this game, the spin moves. But what I like from Drini is he doesn't overuse the moves. He's just really kind of good with the he left stick. He does both of them with the left stick, stick right? Yeah. That's a great point. First and 10, trailing by a touchdown now is Prodigy. For the first time, really, in the Madden Challenge, he finds himself tested. And he's got McCoy himself back in. Didn't go quite as well as Drini's first McCoy run, but that's okay. You get two yards. You're running this deuce close. It's a common formation seen inside the community, so Drini will be ready. You know, he doesn't have the full scouting report of exactly what he likes to do out of it, so it could be early, you know. He's got to kind of go with what he thinks. And here's Shady, part two, this time for Prodigy. Yeah, so he's kind of got to, you know, you expect stretch, you expect clam, you expect tight end angle, all those routes. He'll adjust as the game goes on to the actual individual things that Prodigy wants to do, but for now, he's just kind of going what he expects stock-wise. Wide open in the flats. That's his tight end, Ingram. And the speedy tight end picks up the first. Good PA misdirection. This formation, Scott, especially now if you're playing at home and have the ability to set those quick audibles in there. It's in a bunch of playbooks. It's really difficult to defend. If you like to run the ball, now you can set the stretch as a quick audible, set the wham as a quick audible, set tight end angle, come out in the PA play. The formation's your oyster. Heavy on the left side. Green is solo to the right. First and 10 in plus territory. Wilson will hand it off to Shady. Can't get away from the traffic. Three tight ends out to the left on that halfback stretch. And he didn't trust the blocking over there. He tried to cut it back inside. With the stretch, you got to hit that corner. McCoy unable to get it going. Second and 11. He's up at midfield. It's a good drive. Slowing the game down a bit. All right, a minute and change gone by here in the first. Drini only needed one play. Prodigy trying to put a drive together. It's going to bring up a third and 11. And he's working right now by mixing up some different runs. So he's calling wham, he's calling stretch, he's calling 0-1 trap, different blocking fronts. Going to keep Drini honest with his run D, and Drini has very, very good run defense. Wilson escapes the pressure, oh, no. throws on the run. Boy, he was in a tough situation there. You don't know if he could have got away on the scramble. Throws across his body. What Drini has been doing today Rush in. Rush in. Rush is being in. extremely active with his user defender in the middle of the defense right there. You got to watch that player as he is just all over the field and he's really dropping down close to the line of scrimmage and being extremely aggressive. It's paying off for now. Wilson off his back foot and a wild catch at the 36 and it's a first down. Wow, what a grab there by Nuke Hopkins. Look at this low throw, Scott, off the back foot. Not something you want to make a living on. But you'll take it. You'll take it. 
convert that first fourth down, you keep the ball in your hands, you get closer to pulling it back in under seven points. They're already trailing, so quite the fourth down conversion. Remember by seven here, you mean you of course you would take three points. You always want to take the points here in Madden 18. Yeah, if you were at home and watching, like, how do I pass low? I've been seeing guys do this all week long. Hold down the left bumper and then down on the left stick. You know, last year you had the high and the low. Yep. This year it's a little bit easier. Yeah, Madden 17, it was L trigger for high pass, LB for low pass, but now you have target passing at left trigger, so you got to use LB with the left stick up for high pass, LB with the left stick down for low pass. Every now and then, I need to throw a high pass, I throw a low pass, and I throw an interception immediately. Well, that's better than me, because sometimes I target pass. And there is a fumble, and he gets his own mistake, recovers. Fourth and 11 at the 37, got to go. Watch this one, Scott. Russell Wilson trying to step up and gets flushed out of the pocket. He fumbles behind the line of scrimmage, but the ball just rests ever so tender on his belly. And he just says, you know what, Russ? Luck is with you. <laughs> Fourth and 11 at the 37. Under two minutes to go in the first quarter. Wilson. That's time, yes. and he throws an INT, picked off, and Drini has got a seven-point lead, and now he's got the ball. It looked like that was... Yeah, so right well, over here, this guy got pancaked. Yes. He tried to roll out of the pocket, forced the throw. Yes. Webb was able to drop back and grab the interception. It didn't do too much damage because he got the ball about where he would have got it with an intercepted, uh, with a drop pass anyway, so no... And McCoy again. Still on his feet. Pushed out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Oh, my. 40 yards a carry for LaShawn McCoy. Two for 80. Hopefully this next weekend he has that good of a game on Sunday for my fantasy championship. <laughs> some heat. Eric Donald is a man possessed. Watch. Ooh. That's aggressive. Watch out for that. The play action the fake. Doesn't work. Jailbreak. Looking like the New York Giants offensive line. Five yard loss. There's Aaron Donald, big Madden player. From the we just been I just been naming off Pittsburgh guys all day. You guys have played at Pitt. You got Shady, you got Aaron Donald. Both making plays. Right up the gut, and he goes back to the ground game wisely. Oh my God. Very lucky for Drini, didn't fumble, did not have time to hold down the RB button to cover up the football, which will definitely decrease your chance of a fumble. So extremely fortunate as Kirk Cousins has been a bit of a fumble machine uh, so far here at the Madden Challenge. Now it's going to put him in a fourth and four, but he, he got enough yards back to make this very manageable and give him the option to run if he would like. Prodigy needs a stop. Can't afford to go down two possessions. Cousins steps up and makes the throw, and there's Keenan Allen at the 24. The rollout stayed tough. Waited till Allen kind of broke that route a little bit more horizontal and delivered a hot one across the middle. Great call. Back to Shady on the stretch. Gain of no. He's uh, He was averaging 40 yards, now he's averaging much. 20 yards, still very good. <laughs> but uh, only up at 87 now on four carries. You'll still take it, but good adjustments by Prodigy here to slow down some of the run game. And that's what the running game does. There goes the first quarter. It's it's done. Benito, it's over. Second quarter, he's got the ball in the lead. Makes for very tight games. And McCoy fights his way to the 21. And so now we'll have a third and seven. Where that, that one turnover, Scott, when you're playing an opponent who likes to run the ball, understands good clock management, and has pretty stout defense against the pass, like Drini. You hate seeing him just run this ball helplessly. As blockers has time and has a man. Antonio Brown on 
the playmaker. Wow, look at the playmaker back up the middle of the field. Extremely tough to cover that. And he's able to real-time eight plays, 66-yard drive. Find Antonio Brown. Get him to oh, cut no. upfield. He used the right stick to say, hey, Antonio, go right up the middle. I'm going to find you. Delivers a strike. Some next level action there from Draney. And now Prodigy just lives up the road about 60 minutes. Of course, it depends on what time of day out here in L.A. Could be two hours. But he finds him. Sounds finds himself down 14. Of course, sometimes it feels like a lifetime. L.A. traffic. L.A. weather. Signature. L.A. weather, though. <laughs> yeah, L.A. Got, traffic. That's the uh, that's the balance. McCoy. And he'll move his way to the 45. Big gain from LaShawn McCoy. And he thought he might break it there. Ran into his own guy. He said, hey, get out of my way. But he's using every run in the playbook. Wilson finds Ingram. Now Prodigy sort of settling in. Yeah, and you're only down two scores. You can't get it all back on one drive. Got to stay patient. You're a run first player. Prod uh, Drini knows you're a run first player. That's kind of what he figured out yesterday, even though he didn't see a ton of your games. And there's Ingram. Now ball will be placed at the 27-yard line on the left hash. And it's worth noting that Prodigy will receive the ball to start the second half. So if you can get a score here, maybe get a stop, you could set yourself up in a good situation. Yeah, take some time off the clock in your scenario. You, oh, maintain possessions. That will be what Prodigy must do because so far, Drini's had his way. However, if he can really get it under two minutes, make Drini use some of his timeouts. We haven't seen that open aerial attack from Drini, so it will be tough for him to put some points on the board. Third and a centimeter, and he picks up the first down. That ball was laying on the unofficial orange line. Right where you need to be. Short conversions for Prodigy. Scott, these are the situations you want to be in when you're facing a defense as good as Drini's. Wilson. It's Ingram. You know, we've had two sort of Eagles fans, you know, Dubby and Prodigy. Dubby went down. Now Prodigy's trying to fight. He's battling. Three minutes to go. Got that turnover out of his system. He's, he's figuring out a way to slow down that run game. And now he's toting it with McCoy. Shady try to face up and make a move, but got... There's no way, Scott, that he just wanted to get the first down to manage the clock, right? Like when you... <laughs> right? Because he didn't do a move. Like that, it looked like looked he was going right? to do a move. Well, you know, he is chewing the clock. There's no... He had chew clock on that last play. Wow. Still does. Is he that diabolical to say, hey, just get me across the border of the first down, and then... I'm going to run it down or force him to use his timeouts. Like, he had a one move. It's almost like he was hoping for there. a first and 10 from the 11. Yeah. Didn't get it. Now you got second and goal from the nine. Uh oh. And Russell Wilson. Damn, man. How the why? Will take it in for six. And pinning the extra point, the lead is cut in half. Excellent drive. Prodigy. Russell Wilson has been big for him with his legs. Watch him go right up here. Poor user by Drini, getting too close to the line. I like that he's there, but he just held down the Y button, and that caused him to jump. Joel holding Y, Drini holding Y. They're holding a lot of Ws, though, so I can't complain. That's right. As long as you're not holding that L, you keep moving on. But, I mean, I don't want to project too far out here, but if it's Joel and Drini in the final, Funny How story for, for like a for like a week. I thought Joel and Drini was one person because they <laughs> they uh, that, like you know Ray Shermer's two yeah, yeah. people. Right. I only found that out a week ago as well. So <laughs> Joel and Drini was one person to me. Ray Shermer was one person to me. But then I found out no, there's two of these guys from the same high school that are that good. There's two of these guys that are problems guys. There's two of these guys that are tearing up these New York tournaments. There's two of these guys that aren't old enough to play in the championship series. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And then you meet both of them and they're both completely dynamic personalities. Different characters for sure, but 
composure for the age, both these guys. What a community that must have, uh, you know, given these kids these, this background. I mean, Drini's so well put together for a youngster. Prodigy is as well. But really, listening to Joel, like in the interviews, you know, only on the sticks is that that passion that he has. He, he leaves it, he does it the right way. Third and five. 60 seconds left in the half. Goes to the run. McCoy picks up the first down. Drini has two timeouts, but he's going to go with some tempo. Got to at this stage. Two timeouts when you're a run first player is enough time, but you want to keep it going. McCoy. With a 32, and finally, Drini will use a timeout. One remaining, 40 seconds on the 32. He's cooked up a couple dots, and in the less and less, you have to use those dots because your ground game is successful. Well, there's three things can happen when you put the ball in the air. Two of them are bad. Yeah. You keep Prodigy off balance. He doesn't know your full arsenal plays. You don't want to have to use them. And, if, and three here is big. Could be huge. This play action has struggled for him so far, but... Cousins gets outside, can't get rid of it. Clock will be moving. And he quickly goes to use his final timeout. I like it because on third and seven, if you don't get a play here, you can always take three. The clock stopped after the timeout. 29 seconds at the 29. Back to the ground. McCoy and Prodigy will use his second timeout. Fourth and, and four, and here comes the field goal. Field goal here, the smart decision. Goes up two scores. He knows he does not get the ball at the half. We've seen him. Oh. Ooh, very, very bad. This one's going to shade to the left, but pretty good accuracy down Main Street. The lead's now 10. I think he knows he got a little bit lucky there. I yeah. thought that was apologies to Goes Madden, who's, still, who's actually having a very, very good Madden 18 season sure. and is a very good player. Uh, the situation a with a missed kick last year. That looks like it could have went bad, but fortunately his kicker punched it through for him. Well, and he, he didn't go past the, the top of the meter. You know, once you go top and then you're off, then things will get really wild. Power move by a lot of Madden players. So a little pro tip is you only want to kick it with as much power as you need. For, sure. Like you said, you expand the, the risk error, the range error. He's fine underneath there. It's green, green. We'll take it to the 43. He'll use his final timeout. Now, if he can get, let's say, a, you know, a quick 20 yards or so. Once he puts the camera back sure, down, sure. my beautiful Anywhere line. from the five-yard line yeah. to the 30 right about, is yeah, good. Right about there, <laughs> he can, you know, target that area of the field. And get out of bounds. He's in business. Wilson to McCoy. Got to get out of bounds. And that's how the half is going to end. 10-point lead for Drini. Got up big, 14 to nothing. Prodigy fought back, but a late field goal puts the man from D.C. Not young Drini anymore. Don't call me young. Drini, bandana it up, and he's got a 10-point lead, Zach. And he's found a way to slow down Prodigy. Even though Prodigy's 8 for 11 passing, he's got an interception. And his LaShawn McCoy for Drini is the one that's putting up the big-time numbers. If you're Prodigy in the second half, you got to come out, have a big time drive, and at least get three, and then find a way with that front seven that you picked up to slow him down because it's going to be a long day if LaShawn McCoy continues to get those chunk plays for Drini. Yeah, the big time running plays have been the difference thus far. And plus, we had the turnover. You know, you, you put turnovers out there, you give these guys extra opportunities, they take advantage. And how impressive is LaShawn McCoy so far for Drini. I just can't get back to it. For everyone, it's, to be honest. It's working well, but Prodigy's composed, he's maintained, and he's an, a, a player that likes to adapt. And that's the reason he's so talented at the game. I expect him to make those adjustments in the second half and wouldn't be surprised if this one gets real tight in the fourth quarter. Well, we're 10 minutes away from one of these guys going to the finals. Dave Enrico. 
Thank you, gentlemen. Rico, 17-7 to at the half. Drenny establishing the run game. We heard Zach and Scott talking about Shady McCoy. If you're Prodigy, how aggressive do you have to be on defense in the second half? Incredibly aggressive. We all know there's no worse feeling in Madden than not being able to stop the run. When you couple that, as they said, with the turnovers, that's a recipe for disaster. He's going to have to come out with all guns blaring and really try to slow down Drenny. He's going to have to make him uncomfortable and don't give him time when he does pass to make those reads and progressions. It's going to be interesting to see if he can put those into practice in the second half. Let's take a look at the bracket to see what these guys are playing for. You see Drenny and Prodigy at the top there. The winner of this game will be into the final. They will have the right of playing either Young Kiv or Joel CP. Another fantastic matchup coming in our second semifinal game. Now, this entire week that we've been at the Madden Challenge, we've seen eight of the top players in the entire world compete. If you're an up-and-coming Madden player and you're looking to get into this scene, one of the best ways that you can do that is playing in a Challenger event. They've been all over the country this year. One of the biggest ones was in Las Vegas. Let's check it out. It's not only about the majors when it comes to serious Madden 18 tournaments. The Challenger event program is a key component in the Madden Championship Series. Big names in the Madden community, like Sirius Mo, True Boy, and the GOAT himself, Eric Problem Wright, made an appearance to showcase their skills and rack up those MCS points. But this contest series isn't for the professionals alone. Anyone over the age of 16 can enter these tournaments spread across the country and fight for a chance at prizes and tiered invites to an EA major. We really look forward to the Vegas tournaments because we don't, none of us really travel around into a lot of the competitions. This is a big deal for us. What you guys are doing here is epic for Las Vegas. There's a lot of good uh, Madden players in Las Vegas that normally don't get to shine. This is my favorite tournament. I, I love Vegas. By the end of the weekend, Problem took first place for PS4 and last year's Madden Challenge champion, Beast Mode Mac, walked away with Xboxes. Even though some of the players didn't end up where they wanted to be, they still went home with an amazing experience. Anybody can play. It brings people together. I met a bunch of people through the Magic community, and you know those are those are my friends now. They'll probably be my lifelong friends. If you're of age, come compete. It's great for the kids, and it gives them something to do. It's very positive, and you, you see the results. Very, very cool. Rico, how similar are those challenger events to the, the tournaments that you were playing in back in your heyday? That's the closest you'll come back to that old school Madden. And look at the names you saw there. You saw Kerry, Serious Mo, Problem, Figgy, True Boy. That's like the who's who of the Madden community. And it shows you just how deep the field is because none of them are here. Absolutely. Well, we want to remind all of you guys that we are going to be back tomorrow night bringing you the finals of the Madden Challenge. It all starts at 8.30 p.m. Eastern with the Mixer pregame show and the finals start at 9 p.m. Eastern. You can watch on Facebook, Twitch, Mixer, Twitter, and YouTube. Also want to remind you guys to tune in to the CW's EA Madden NFL 18 Challenge Special airing on Wednesday, December 27th at 8, 7 central. We'll give you an emotional competitive journey as these eight stars chase the dream of becoming Madden Challenge Champion. Remember to check that out on the CW Wednesday, December 27th at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central. Right now, Adrian Lawrence is with Prodigy. Prodigy, right now you are 10 points behind Drini. You had some struggles just coming out of the gate. What happened? So first play of the game, uh, he came out in a two tight end set. I came out in dollar, and which I shouldn't have. Gave up a first play, run touchdown. Uh, we got to tighten up on both sides of the ball because I got the ball back and then turned it over. But we get ball at half, so we still have a chance. And in terms of moving forward and hoping to progress to the finals, what are you going to have to do to get there? Uh, I'm definitely going to have to stop the run. Uh, he's running more than I'd like him to. Uh, and we got to get the ball moving on offense. we got to put some more points up. Well, I wish you the best. You. Dave Rico. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it from here. Why not? I mean, I could be a Dave. You could be a Rico. I'm probably more of a Rico. You're probably more of a Dave. I like it. All right. <laughs> I, w I don't want to talk bad about Rico because every time I say something over here, he's like, he gets you over gives there. Gives me something right? over there. So I love Rico. He's my guy. And <laughs> that's all I can say. He's Thank great you. to have a, a true Madden historian uh, in the mix among us. Well, we got a good game here. It's a 10 point lead. You get nervous for Prodigy because you mentioned he's a run first player. It makes it tough when you're trailing. It does, Scott, but he gets the ball, so he gets the benefit of having a full drive, as much time as he needs. He has to be patient and do what he's comfortable with. That's the difference. And whether it's a run-first 
Scott with McCoy, or whether it's run first with Russell Wilson off the pass game, he just has to find a way to pick up a couple drives. The issue will be Drini has now seen an entire half of him play, and he'll make adaptions as well, adaptations. I'm with you either way. Tomato, Whatever tomato. Whatever the word is, yeah. <laughs> nice play on first down. It's going to be second and two. I mean, the good news is, you know, as you mentioned, he, he gets the ball to start the half, but this is a key drive. You got to get three. You'd like to get seven. And you have the players to do it on offense. Wilson oh, goes airborne to the 50. So I'll explain what happened in that situation is he tried to slide with the quarterback. Instead, he held down left trigger and X, which causes your quarterback to uh, dive. Do a little uh, <laughs> Chris Ricks, Florida State, perhaps. Like you lay out John Elway helicopter move. I'm liking the college references. See, Gibbs, Gibbs never gave me those. I am shocked he did not fumble. He could be shocked he didn't slide. Yep. But that could be a big stage thing. You're a little bit nervous. You're trying to slide. You've seen a lot of fumbles this week. Don't do that. Very risky. Well, you, get in that, you also get in the habit of left trigger and B when you're running. You Correct. know, try to make a big time spin move. Hey, tremendous visual. First and 10 at the 30. Last game of the year, Scott. Can't hold anything back. <laughs> well, that's classic. Good route. The post. Quick audible. Skinny post. Very tough play. You get those receivers in tight, then you put them out wide. They're going to come back in the middle here, Scott. First and 10 from the 14. Swings it outside to Shane McCoy. He's got all kind of room. And we all of a sudden, pinning the extra point, got a three-point game. Trini getting extremely aggressive in the ground game. It hasn't cost them so far. It worked against Spoto. He got some sacks off of it by playing with everybody up in the box. But look at this. Boom, he's got all those guys up at the line. Looks like a run commit. Swings it right out to McCoy, who then uses his speed to get to the edge and go for the touchdowns. Five plays. 65 Five yards, yards 87 seconds. Ball now at the 39 for Drini. Got to answer. Well, that's what we talked about. He said coming out in dollar led to that touchdown early. I doubt he'll make that mistake again. We'll have to be patient. Prodigy has great balance, but Trini has lacked balance in this event, and that's okay. Ba like, when you're I running know, like this? Right, right. I know people want balance. You need balance. Kim's not balanced. He's amazing. <laughs> Trini's not balanced. He's amazing. But it does really let your opponent kind of stack up the box. So, And now you get into the whole, like, he knows, I know, he knows I'm yep. going to run, so am I going to pass? McCoy picks up a block. And stop me if you've seen this before. 10, 5, touchdown, McCoy. You run it, Scott. You run the pill. You want to win? Put Shady in. 24, 14, made quick work. That's not the adjustments you wanted to make if you're Prodigy. You knew what you had to do on this drive. And you let Drini run down the field and kind of wipe off your, your awesome drive to start the half. Well, off screen, you couldn't see, but Keenan Allen had a key block and then a secondary block on the web, and that sprung him for the touchdown. And each game mode, Scott, so different. We saw some running in the first event, but ultimately it was an event that was won by the passing game and by defenders with great zone coverage. And he jukes his way to the 44. In salary cap, which is upcoming club championship, the game plays different as well. Look at this run, though, to the edge. That stretch. He finally takes it outside. He trusts that block. I, what, I, I like what Drini's doing where he's clicking on to the defender who's going to tackle him Try and trying to, to just, yeah, yeah like, uh, defend him, stand in front of him, slow him down so that his teammates can uh, come over and help because he just got juked out of his shoes. And now you see those guys head out. This is where A.J. Green ran that post earlier. Uh, but he's also used this quick end around play. He used it in the red zone back earlier in the week. Couldn't really use it to break contain there, but not bad. Get Drini thinking pass where you've hit him. And see if you can uh, pop him. 
So second and ten now from the 44. Three minutes have already gone by. We've had 14 points here in the quarter. Trailing by 10 and a nice find to Green at the 37 yard line and he wants to go tempo. It's a dot from this Cleveland Browns offensive playbook. The Deuce Close has tight end angle as a quick audible. He's using it. He's 13 of 16 passing. Yeah, looking good. Has time once again. Wilson throws in the coverage and it's picked off. Oh, and guess who it is? It's Bradley oh, Roby. And the Bronco steps up for the Broncos. He had the receiver on the left wide open up at the top of the screen. Instead, goes to the right side, and Roby is a glue guy. Picks it off. Unfortunate. He's completing his passes very well, Scott. But those two turnovers right now are the difference. That and, of course, LaShawn McCoy. At 13 of 17, but he's thrown two picks. The lead is 10. Drini's got the ball. He's got an opportunity to put this one on ice. Yeah, and look at this wide alignment here. It's the 4-3 wide nine on defense. And those defenders are out very wide, hoping to contain some stretch. Second and 13. Stops, pops. And Keenan Allen will make it a third and seven. Lucky he didn't take a bigger hit. Uh, Allen kind of spun and put his back out, which helped him not fumble, brad him with the, the tackle. Third and seven, you're still on a rushdown if you want. These PA passes haven't worked for Drini so far. But let's see. Back to McCoy, McCoy. Aaron Donald able to hold on. Fourth and four, and he's going. He's going all the way, he made it a very manageable fourth and four by keeping it on the ground, it's still there. He's gone to a uh, backbreaker route from Allen on this on this. In the pocket, oh, throws gone. low, and Landon Collins. Get up, man. Get to your feet, young man. He can't. Oh. A turnover ball at the 49. He needed a pick six there. But that's that zone coverage. Got watch Landon Collins break on this football. That is why you select these players in Muttrap. That's why they're so valuable. They let you play different style of defenses. That's a potential pass completion in a first down against a player not in that range. So Landon Collins stepping up and being one bright spot for the Giants. Well, we've seen Drini throw some INTs on fourth down. You got nothing to lose. You got to turn it over in downs anyway. He just gotta, risked yeah. the pick six. Yeah, just got to get rid of that football. Wasn't a bad read. It's Collins breaks on that ball. You got you to find those guys and know where they are. Landon Collins now for about two straight years inside of Ultimate Team has been amazing. Last year he was a huge part of Dubby's defense. He would put him in the flat with some hip power. Yeah. And, and you, hey, throw it over there in the flat. I'll, I got Landon Collins coming your way. So quite a good Madden option. Of course, conservative ball carrying has helped lessen has. some of the blow. But we've seen some fumbles. Yeah, we have. M many more than the Madden Classic. Some great uh, work by the game team to really kind of. I bet we've had a dozen this week. Yeah. I mean, quarterbacks especially, but that's just been people getting a little bit greedy with the yeah. QB, QB runs. Third and 17. Wilson will take off. <laughs> oh! And he goes airborne again. Watch this user by Drini. Oh, my goodness. This kid is amazing in the middle of the defense. Amazing stuff in Prodigy with his... Watch this user. Look at him run. He's running all around. And then Prodigy makes a second mistake, Scott. Fool clicks me once. off, clicks on. Fool me once. Clicks back on. Yeah. Shame on me. Dive twice with the quarterback, and you, you don't fumble. Fourth and eight. Wilson. He's going to run for the first. He's got it and slides down at the 37, the former NC State second baseman. He laid off the left trigger. I was about to say, that would be the moment where you got to lay out <laughs> yeah. for the bread. But gets the slide. Russell Wilson's been big for his offense. Thought he had A. He's been reluctant to throw that three. corner route this. Look at him. This we tournament got... takes off again. Why not? I know Joel's the chess player, but it's Dreedy right now that's kind of chess. Watch this. Look at him. All around the line of scrimmage. Russell Wilson, little cat and mouse. He's got 46 yards. 
Prodigy now at the 25 and takes a huge sack. Clowney came in with all the power he had. He's pretty lucky he didn't fumble. I've, when I hear that noise, yep. you know that a fumble was uh, definitely an option. But Russell lowered the shoulder on him in the pocket there. Second and 16. And Deshaun <laughs> Jackson can't on. hold on. Yeah, Deshaun Jackson's not your best catching traffic guy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna guess. So, I liked it because I run the ball here. The short I, I know that's. I know. I know that's uh, maybe a bad move here, but you can't take a sack. A sack will cost you points. Watch this user. He played short earlier. That's what opened up that back up, But I bet he doesn't here. He goes back to the sticks. Wilson has time. Has a man. Can't drag the toe. And now Prodigy oh. is fighting Madden a little bit instead of just Drini. He's got a drop that kind of wanted. He got a sideline catch that he kind of wanted. I mean. Did he miss? He missed it. It's short. Short on oh, wow. the field goal. Wow. Barls. We are shocked. Look at this. It's too high. Oh my goodness. It's a 49 yarder. Scott and Mutt draft. I mean, kickers, you don't really draft one, so you kind of get yeah, whatever on your base Caleb roster. Caleb Sturgis, which both of these guys have. Everybody's got the same. I think six of the eight guys have Sturgis, I think. Florida if not all of them. Yeah. 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 See, I, I like hanging out with yeah. you. I like the college football references. Second and seven. And now we're in the fourth quarter with two and a half to go. I mean, this game got short. Did it not get short? I mean, probably Very short. had a drive. And you were right when you said run it because he would have been a little bit closer. Yep. He would have made it a one-score game. And now all of a sudden it's the two-minute warning approaching. Drini's got his ground game. That was a big momentum shift. Got to get a stop. If you hold him to three, it's still two possessions. You see the... Rushing yards almost nearly to 200. He's milking cookies third and four. I don't put it in the air here, Scott. I'm also not up on the stage. I'm going to let him work it. But third and four, you know what you got to do. Play action. Here comes the blitz. He didn't put it in the air there, Scott. If I'm prodigy, I... I don't know. I think you saved the timeout. I think, that, you know, I, I always like the quick timeout there, but I think he actually made the right choice because now he can keep all three if he can get a quick score. Yeah, that way he can cash in on the field goal at least as quick as possible. He saves those three timeouts up at the top of the screen. And that is big because then if you can get the ball If it's a one-score game, I burn that timeout right there. I, yeah. I want that 14 seconds. And this one will go out of bounds. They'll mark it at the 28. That's pretty good. Prodigy. Pretty now, good how big is this Miss field goal? He would have the ball right now with a chance to drive down and tire a win. Special team, Scott's the third phase of the game. The more and more you play, the better you get at it. But some people don't. Cracked. I don't know if he just got complacent. He thought he was going to make it. I don't know if he put his left stick down. I, I was shocked. He, I can, I can tell you that he did lower. He didn't lower the left stick no. to get the full distance because he kicked it strong. Yeah. Past the top of the meter, and it was just short. Short in it. Yeah. Scott, you never want to leave a birdie or a field goal short. Nope. You got to give it a chance. Or a haircut. Once it's too short, it's too short. Second and four. That could be your motto. And I like what Drini's doing here. He's playing great defense, swapping up his coverages. And he's not letting the deep middle of the field, this area, be attacked. He's Using a lot of clock here. 70 seconds left in the game, trailing by 10. It's you got to okay. get going. You got to get going, but it's okay because you got timeouts. Why? But as we discussed, you want a quick, you need a quick score, and then, then yeah, you can make yeah, the decision. It, it, it's right now, low. it's getting low. Right now, you pretty much got to start using your timeouts and, and go for the onside kick. You're, you're approaching that area uh, 30, about 30 seconds where it's an onside kick is a necessity. Wilson looking to the side to Sean Jackson. Does drag the toe. It's a ball at the 42 now. 
This is where I like to go for 10 yards, kick it, go for the onside. Agree, because you can always chuck a deep pass and pray. You can't always kick a field goal because you need to be in range. So you take the three, but you unfortunately just missed. Watch for Ingram. He's not open, and it's a sack, and that just might do it. That's the one thing you couldn't have happen. Yeah, and the entire middle of the field here is open because you know why? Drini says, you can throw it there all day long. <laughs> I don't care. Wilson to McCoy. Got to use a timeout right here. And yeah, he now you're relying on the onside kick. And once you take that one timeout, it's over if you don't get the onside kick. So he's trying to save it. I understand why he was doing that. And I think Drini made really, really, really good adjustments to just leave that middle extremely open and That's only cover the sideline. That's then line. use the timeouts. And I'm impressed by Drini's The user. previous play, he had Ingram wide open over the middle. Watch this guy. Watch how active he's going to be on defense. If you want to improve your game, watch Drini. He runs around. Play there. action. Take off with Russell Wilson, slides down. Right. Use his second timeout now. Now we're going to get the field goal again. He's going to, let's see if he, if he goes left stick down here. No, he doesn't. Well, this one doesn't matter. It's down. No, but why would, why, I just don't understand why wouldn't you always do it? It doesn't matter. It's not like it's going to get blocked because you lowered the kick. Yeah, so I don't understand why. Low. Here's the onside, 11 seconds. He does have one timeout, but needs to recover. And the grounder is picked up. And that will do it. Drini is going to move to the finals. And he's also going to move to the Madden Ultimate League in February. Wow. 18 years old. First eligible season for Drini. He's done it. He's won two games here today. And he advances to tomorrow's final with some amazing run game. And Both these guys in their rookie seasons. Across the Madden. middle. Yeah, Absolutely. And if you're Prodigy, you're disappointed because that was your shot to advance, but you still have to hold your head up. You went 3-0 and in your group. You got the number one seed. You made yourself some money, and you made a name for yourself. You did. You did it with class. You're proud to be a competitor. But this one, Scott, was all about Drini and his ground game. I love, though that user and I can't wait to see who his opponent will be in tomorrow's final in the chess battle that will take place in determining how everything goes. It's either going to be Young Kiv or it's going to be Joel. I got a lucky bandana. <laughs> either way, he's the winner. He's going to be in the final. Yes, you will indeed. You are moving on. You locked in $25,000 in a seat in the Madden Ultimate. Now, so can you tell me what does this feel like? That's amazing. It's uh, I don't even know what to say right now, man. This is what I've been working for this whole year. Now that I'm here, I just got to finish it. Oh, man, I don't know what to say. I'm sure, I'm sure you feel some kind of sense of relief, motivation. Yes, yes. What have you been drawing on? Oh, uh, man. Honestly, I don't even know what to say right now. Man, oh. Well, let me ask you, in terms of that game, where do you feel that you really succeeded at? My defense, again, defense wins championships. They say often sell tickets, but in the playoffs when it's crunch time, you want your defense to, you know, make the plays for you. And the defense did that, and my offense uh, capitalized from, my def from the Prodigy's mistakes. And so what did it take for you to come through? Uh, I had to get my run game going. Uh, Prodigy had good run defense, but I had to, like, my run stick was actually really good that game. In my group play, in my group play games, it, it was bad. I had to, you know, change it up. And in this playoff run, I've been playing lights out, and hopefully I play lights out in the finals. Congrats to you, and good luck as you move into the finals. Dorico and Dave. Thank you, Adrian.